Well, on Labor Day, we celebrate the American worker, but the pandemic and the end of most restrictions has brought new challenges for employees and their bosses. WBZ's Louisa Moeller is live in the Seaport District tonight with that story. Louisa? Well, Lisa, there is plenty of activity in the seaport. Has been all summer, and you think that'd be great news for the bars, the restaurants, the shops. Well, there's one problem that remains. There are just not enough workers to meet all the jobs here. There are guests dressed for the night outside 15 Beacon Hotel, and rooms filling up. Normally, we would have three concierge um, staffed, and we have one right now. But on the eve of Labor Day, Hotel General Manager Amy Thinsilver says she's still having trouble finding staff. Staffing labor has been an incredible challenge. I have never felt more overwhelmed with the lack of people who want to work. With college students back, the streets of Boston are alive. But some businesses say there are not enough workers to meet the demand. So we're still operating with a little less than half the staff that we had pre-pandemic. According to the latest jobs report, the labor market remains strong. The economy added 315,000 jobs in August. Unemployment rose to 3.7 percent. And the U.S. Department of Labor reports there are still two jobs for every unemployed worker. It's not all dire at Tuscan Kitchen in the Seaport, where General Manager Charlie Wright says 85 percent of staff have stayed on through the pandemic. Really the heart of this restaurant and the success is the people. The others left the restaurant business. They got an opportunity um, at other uh, businesses, um, other job opportunities, a lot of them being nine to five. And that's why Finn Silver says her search for staff has changed. She now looks to train people from outside the hotel industry. Why work for a 365 day open 24 hour business when they can work from home, you know, change their hours. Now, in another sign of the worker shortage, layoffs in accommodations and food services hit a record low last month. Live in the seaport, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.